Hi guys, Drew here for Z-Code System, and we're going to take a look at some more great soccer action coming up in Europe on February 16th, 17th, and 18th. Uh, that is going to be this coming weekend, and of course you can go over to Z-Code System and check out our blog every week for some great picks uh, for whatever sport it is that you choose to bet on, whether it be NHL, NBA, soccer, uh, football, if you will, or uh, Major League Baseball when it starts up again in the coming months. But guys, we're going to talk about some of the games going on, the elite European soccer predictions. And you can go over to the website and you can check out uh, the blog and you can get all the information from these picks there, as well as you can get a bonus pick there for the Chelsea Manchester United FA Cup clash. I'm not going to be covering that in the video, but you can go over to the blog and you can check that out and uh, get my picks for uh, that game. That's a, a huge game and a rematch of last year's FA Cup final. And it will be played at Stamford Bridge in London. So um, go over there and check that out. But uh, let's take a look at three games that are going to be going on around the continent this weekend. And uh, let's start in England with the English Championship. Now, the Premier League is on hold due to the FA Cup, but the Championship will have games uh, being played. And uh, one of the big games this weekend, well, one of the big games uh, will be Sheffield United and Reading. Reading, uh, a team in the bottom three right now of the championship, and they look like they are going to be relegated unless they do something very quickly uh, to rescue their season. Sheffield United, on the other hand, are third from top and uh, just a couple of points away from the automatic promotion places there, and they are doing very well. As you can see, they are burning hot. Uh, they've only lost once in their last six games and uh, doing really well there. Uh, top three in scoring this season and in the... Uh, the uh, bottom three of the fewest goals allowed uh, during the season this year uh, in the championship. So some excellent play that they're doing now. Reading have drawn three straight games, but that doesn't really, uh, that really hasn't saved their season necessarily. They are still playing uh, quite poorly, unable to find goals uh, this season. As you can see, uh, their last game against Sheffield Wednesday ended in a nil-nil draw. And the game before that uh, against Aston Villa was a nil-nil draw as well. Now, take a look at uh, one tool right now. The head-to-head -head takes a look at their last three meetings. And as you can see, Reading have struggled mightily in those three games. They've lost all three with Sheffield United coming out on top. And uh, Sheffield United scoring over two goals, uh, two or more goals in uh, all three of those games. And, guys, I'm going to see that that's going to happen again this weekend with Sheffield United playing at home at Bramall Lane. Sheffield United going to pick up the win and doom Reading to a, another loss as uh, the Blades uh, attempt to go for one of those automatic promotion places, and I think they they very well could get that. So Sheffield United to win in this weekend in the championship. Now let's look at um, the next fixture, and we're going to go to Sunday. That Sheffield United Reading game was on the Saturday, uh, but we're going to go to the Sunday, and we're going to have a look here um, in France. And I'm just going to go to the drop-down menu, and I'm going to go down to pick up the Montpellier versus Lille game going on in France in Ligue 1. And this is a, going to be a really good game between the second team in Ligue 1, which is Lille, and the fourth-place team, which is Montpellier. And Montpellier is in fourth on goal difference. They are battling a few other teams uh, to get that final Champions League qualification place. Lille playing some great soccer right now. Unfortunately, for Lille, they are 10 points behind Paris Saint-Germain, who had uh, really set the standard early on this season, despite uh, the not playing so well right now. Lille probably will not catch uh, PSG unless something dramatic happens. But both of these teams, as you can see, are burning hot. But Montpellier, you can see, uh, has drawn their last two games to Monaco and Nîmes. Uh, that Monaco draw was very damning as uh, Monaco are down at the lower end of the table. And as you can also see, just one win in their last six, despite being in fourth place right now, and that win came against Khan. And uh, right now, Montpellier not scoring too many goals, uh, just uh, three, five, six in their last six games. So Montpellier struggling just a bit in front of the uh, in front of the goal. Uh, Lille, on the other hand, five straight wins, playing some excellent football right now. Uh, and some of those wins came against big teams such as Ma uh, Marseille and Nice. So uh, Lille looking good for the victory once more here in Ligue 1. And we'll just take a look at the head-to-head. -head. As you can see, Lille won their earlier meeting this season on the road at Montpellier. That was a low-scoring game. And last year, 
last May, uh, sorry, last March, excuse me, uh, it ended in a 1-1 draw. But Lille have played very well against Montpellier in recent times. And again, I don't see this going uh, away from that trend. Um, uh, Lille, Lille playing some excellent football right now, uh, though they won't catch PSG and uh, overtake them for first place in Ligue 1. Uh, this is going to be a Lille win at home, and uh, they're going to strengthen their co- um, strengthen their case, that is, for a top two finish and Champions League qualification. So Lille to get the win in this game on Sunday. Now to take a look at one last game uh, before we go this week, and we're going to take a look at uh, a game taking place in Spain on Sunday evening. So again, going to the Drop down menu, and we're going to scroll down until we find um, a game between Alavesh and Real Betis. And this is, uh, of course, as I said, going on in Spain. And um, Alavesh has been a, a very much a surprise team in La Liga this season. They are sixth right now in the league, and they have flirted with top four this season. And of course, top four means Champions League qualification for next year. Now. Betis, although they do have far more talent and um, a far better team on paper, Betis is currently ice cold down, as you can see, very inconsistent, hot and cold, uh, losing last week, a surprising loss to Leonas, uh, 3-0. Now, the reasons for these uh, this inconsistency and, and for that loss is Betis are competing in both the Copa del Rey semifinal right now, and uh, they are also competing in the Europa League. Um, a week ago, they uh, played the first leg of the semifinal against Valencia. That finished in a 2-2 draw, uh, which led up to that game against Leonas. And that most likely is, um, you know, can be the reason given for that loss. Uh, this week, they are also on Thursday night playing in the Europa League last 32. Uh, it's going to be a big game for them and a game that they're going to very much concentrate on. And I, th- my opinion, I believe they're going to struggle when they meet Alavesh on Sunday evening. In this game, despite being the favorite and playing at home, um, I think they'll struggle against Alavesh uh, due to the cup fixtures that are coming up. Now, let's just take a look at the head to head uh, between these two teams. And you can see earlier this year in August, they drew nil nil in a very low scoring game. Uh, but before that, Betis had um, dominated uh, the two fixtures between them um, before Alavesh had won the two prior to that. But as I said, I think that Betis are going to struggle due to the cup fixtures that are going on right now. Uh, they're going to have their attention on those. And even though they do have a better squad on paper, they don't have necessarily a very deep squad. And a bit of that quality falls off once you get past that starting 11. So Alavesh are going to come from... Um, are going to be my underdog pick to win this game. They're going to pick up all three points and um, strengthen their case for a possible top four finish in La Liga, which again, like I said, surprise package right now this year in La Liga. So my money is on Alavesh to win this game over Real Betis. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for us this week with our picks and uh, our latest soccer video. But of course, like I said earlier, you can go over to the Z Code System blog. You can check out all the various articles and blogs that we have there and check out um, some of the great picks we have for whatever sport it is that you want to wager on this week or this weekend. And of course, as I said before, Chelsea will host Manchester United in a major FA Cup clash. And you can go over there and check out my picks for that game and um, get up to date on um, some information from for that match. Uh, and of course, you can always go to Z Code System to get all the automated picks for uh, whatever sport you bet on and um, have a great weekend of wagering on football, basketball, uh, hockey, whatever it is you like. But we'll see you next week here, guys, and uh, stay tuned to Z Code System.